Today's message is about the Day of the Lord, a very important concept in the Bible. Jesus Christ is called the bright morning star in the Bible. He's called the day star. His mission here on earth was to preach the kingdom of God. When God raised him from the dead, he ascended far above all heavens, was glorified, and sat down with his Father on his throne. He sent us the Holy Spirit to rule in his stead. The day of the Lord is a representation of the manifestation of the kingdom of God in the earth. The kingdom proceeds around the earth from east to west like the sun. Jesus Christ referred to this when he said, As the lightning cometh from the east and shineth even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. And we know from the scripture in Acts chapter 16 and 2 Corinthians chapter 1 that the Holy Spirit prevented Paul from preaching the gospel in Asia, but rather commanded him to go west into Macedonia. And an, an examination of his ministry shows us that he went ever farther west with the gospel as far as Rome and possibly Spain. In 1492, Columbus sailed the ocean blue, and by his own admission, he was an emissary of Jesus Christ. So the day of the Lord illumined the new world, and at this time in history, it is dawning in the Far East. So Asia is experiencing their Chinese exceptionalism, as I call it. But America has gone into a dark age. Night has fallen on America. Jesus Christ told me that the long night has just begun. The night is coming when no man can work. The gospel will proceed around the earth until it returns to Jerusalem. Jerusalem hears the gospel twice, in the morning and in the evening. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the same, the name of the Lord is to be praised. And Jesus told us in scripture that when the gospel has been preached in all nations, then the end will come. 